I owe Mushukuten a very honest apology. I was one of those people who said season 1 of Mushukuten was great, but not as good as people were making it to be. I thought there were a lot of problems, especially the incredible amount of unnecessary scenes when we have lots of other important stuff we should focus on. But yeah, you could see I was a little bit harsh on season 1. And this is why I am here to absolutely apologize because season 2 is an actual masterpiece. I refrain from making a video like this earlier because 1. I didn't actually see season 2 at that time and 2. I literally just finished season 2 part 1. And yeah, I, I, I love it. I love every single thing about it. Maybe if I had to nitpick anything, I think the demons storyline leads to literally nothing like the Dabby man for arm demon thing. I think his existence is as good as his absence. That's my only like extreme nitpick, but he's a cool character. So yeah, why not? I say this because the storyline behind Rudius and his well erectile dysfunction it was so fucking interesting and suddenly they bring an episode where somehow now this is the focus of the episode freaking four armed dabby man. So that kind of pissed me off a bit <laughs> because I wanted to see more of like Rudius and his struggles than fucking challenge in the middle of the academy but yeah that aside i absolutely love the psychological aspect of this anime and you know what before i thought that Rezero was the absolute undisputed king especially after the incredible season two it had i can finally say i put mushoku tensei right next to it at that throne of isekai anime it's just that fucking good also the characters are really really fucking well written even the dumb dude like the glasses man statue thing even that dude i love him i love all the characters i love the fact they didn't make cliff like the person named cliff they didn't make him like have this revenge story because that redhead girl doesn't like him because of rudius no they just made him go up and get over it like most enemies don't do that they make it so like oh this man has a, a revenge plan that means he spends his whole life just to get revenge on this one person no this is not how lives work people get over stuff and cliff simply just got over it and wanted some elf pussy <laughs> I mean, I can't say otherwise for Rudius, he's literally doing the same, so... Also, can we talk about how overpowered Sylphie is? Sylphie literally was able to make Rudius question his sexuality. <laughs> this is just how overpowered Sylphie is. As a man, she was able to make Rudius go hard while having erectile dysfunction. This is absolutely incredible. And yeah, I, I love this anime so damn much. And I am currently watching part two by the way i am not skipping it i cannot skip this one i already feel bad for skipping part one and watching it very late and kind of grateful because i cannot stand some of those cliffhangers i cannot wait a whole week so i basically binge watched it and yeah it was incredible but i may suffer in part two because i will be waiting a whole week for a cliffhanger so yeah wish me luck and I will wish you all luck, by the way. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know what the fans are talking about, but they are talking about they're not ready for what's coming. They're not ready. Please don't torture Rudius. I mean, this is how you can tell their story is absolutely fantastic. I used to hate Rudius in season 1. Yes, he was my least favorite character. But after season 2 part 1, he is literally now my favorite character in the whole damn show. It is very difficult to pull off something like that as a writer. They made an incredible job it's called character development yes my favorite thing in the world as i said before every time i see character development i come so yeah i wish you all luck on this incredible journey and let's wait for what happens now uh, i may like uh give these two some privacy and uh, yeah get the fuck out